Tesla is now outselling Lexus and many other luxury automakers and non-luxury automakers for that matter here in the United States. Is this kind of the beginning of the end for the traditional luxury market? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kirk. Talk about Japanese and Korean cars mainly. It's fun to talk about Tesla because they're doing things we have never seen before in the automotive industry. And Tesla is now selling more vehicles in the United States than Lexus, Volkswagen, Mercedes, BMW, and many others. We're over at Clean Technica for this. Uh, they specialize in electric vehicle news and things of that matter. Tesla sold roughly 99,000 units here in the United States for Q3. That is a, an enormous amount, and you can see Lexus down here at 81,000 units. So Lexus had a good lead over Mercedes-Benz, over BMW, their traditional rivals, but is Tesla a real rival to the luxury brands, or are they just uh, a rival to every single brand out there right now? Tesla sales are up 67% in the third quarter of this year compared to the third quarter of last year. So the Model X, to my understanding, is not in production right now. Uh, the Model S is in production, but they're hardly selling any of those. All the volume, the vast majority of the volume is coming from the more affordable and still really high performance Model 3 and Model Y. Now keep in mind that this is 99,000 deliveries in the quarter three. It uh, doesn't mean sales. So of course all their cars are sold online. Uh, you buy them online and then there's a waiting period to get your vehicle. So deliveries take are taking place about six months after the order is placed, at least according to many, many people waiting on their car to arrive. And that's what Clean Technica is mentioning in this paragraph. Now they're also saying that supply should be higher, but because of the microchip shortage and other supply chain disruptions, Tesla's not able to meet the demand. And that's true, but also every single automaker is in the same boat when it comes to that. Despite that, Tesla is doing arguably the best as their sales are just skyrocketing, but they could be doing better. That's, that's kind of the scary thing. If supply for the microchips and other things were there and available, that means these vehicles would be delivering more than 99,000 per quarter right now. But I'm not gonna go over the rest of this article. Instead, I've made my own spreadsheet. <laughs> you guessed it. I'm bringing you my own spreadsheet, kind of forecasting Tesla's growth, but also the growth of the main luxury automakers, especially the ones I cover on the channel, being that I'm more Asian focused. Uh, so we have Tesla, Audi, BMW, Lexus, Daimler, Acura, Infiniti, Genesis. I didn't include the domestics like Cadillac or Lincoln. I should have put Volvo on here, but Volvo is still a really small player. Uh, selling less units than all of these that you see up here. All right, there's a lot of numbers. I'm going to bring your focus on average year-over-year -year growth from 2018 to 2021. I'm predicting the sales numbers based off the Q1 through Q3. The problem with this is, is that Q1 and Q2, it was like guns blazing for most automakers in Q3 with the supply chain getting wrenched. Things are going really bad for a lot of these luxury automakers. So I just wanted to point out that Genesis, Lexus, Tesla, they're handling the supply chain better than most of these other companies. And Q4, Q4 is going to be very rough for the majority. So I'm not expecting these numbers to be quite as high for the majority of these brands. And maybe that's also including Tesla as well. But I'm especially expecting Audi, BMW, and Mercedes to be hit pretty hard with this. And Infinity will but jump back. But yeah, Infinity is just a complete mess right now. So what I did is average year over year growth um, from the last three years. So 2018 to 2019, 19 to 20, and 20 to 21, I averaged that growth and we have Tesla at 32 plus percent growth year over year. It's insane. Audi's about neutral, BMW's barely positive, Lexus is slightly above that, Mercedes is actually shrinking, Acura is growing thanks to the new TLX, the new MDX, and Infinity is a sinking ship that's also on fire, if, that, if that's even possible. Uh, and Genesis is not really computing, and the reason is, is that they're not going to continually have 156% growth year over year. But by the end of the year, it's looking like Tesla will be past just about all these other luxury automakers. Then you take the sales growth and you compound it 
Year over year for three years, it's looking like Tesla could be selling nearly 800,000 vehicles just here in the United States, which is going to be more than double all of these other luxury automakers just by 2024 if they continue to grow by over 32% every single year. Is it possible? I guess anything's possible, but are there enough factories? We know Tesla's building uh, that new uh, Giga Texas factory in Austin or around Austin. That should be online by 2022. They're going to they're supposed to be able to build the semi truck there as well as the cyber truck. And then you also have the Model Y and Model 3 being built there. But they might need an, an additional factory on top of that by 2024 to be able to hit these sort of numbers. And the growth of the rest of these companies is very limited, if not stagnant or declining, uh, especially when you look at Infinity, rest in peace, they might not make it to 2024. Genesis is the outlier. It's hard to say where they're gonna be in 2024 because they can't keep up 150 plus percent growth year over year. I think they'll probably be around 80K by 2024. That's just a gut feeling. I have nothing to base that on. And you have to remember also Genesis is going to be a fully electric brand by 2025, uh, but their GV60 fully electric crossover is coming out in spring of 2022. So these are some of the models that we're expecting. Here are the timeframes that we're expecting these models. Audi already has their e-trons uh, with the crossovers as well as the new sedan that they have. Lexus and Acura definitely behind the curve here. We don't know exactly when this LFZ is going to be available or whatever they decide to call it. It could be the RZ450E. I think that's what the production version will be called, but I'm just putting LFZ as a placeholder here. And who knows? Maybe we'll see it in the fall of 2022. Maybe, maybe not. It's really hard to say. We know BMW is coming out with these models, the i4 and the iX. Um, so th why do I bring up these luxury vehicles, electric cars? Well, I think they could take a, a chunk out of Tesla's pie. You might be saying, well, Tesla's taking customers away from uh, these traditional luxury automakers. And maybe, I mean, if, if they were, you would think all these numbers would be significantly declining, um, but they're, they're really not. They're just kind of flatlined. They've been flatlined for the majority of these companies for a very long time, for like, I don't know, 10 years or so. So it's more like Genesis stealing customers from the traditional luxury automakers uh, as they identify as a full-on luxury brand. And then you have Tesla, which is almost in their own little vacuum. They don't really see other co car companies as competition. They're only limited by the amount of cars they can pump out right now because the demand is through the roof for their vehicles. Tesla has just also posted the largest ever quarterly profit on record, 73% more deliveries than a year earlier at this point in the year. They earned $1.62 billion in the third quarter. In many, many quarters and years past, Tesla was only profitable due to the green credits that they're selling to other manufacturers. But only $279 million of those credit sales make up the $1.62 billion. So they're finally making really good money. That's despite continually building factories, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So Tesla also wants to switch over to LFB technology, which is a lithium iron phosphate batteries, uh, which reduces the amount of nickel and cobalt, if I remember correctly, in the batteries. And they want to use these LFP batteries in their standard range of vehicles. LFP is not nearly as energy dense as traditional lithium ion. So they're looking at ways to make more money, but they're doing well in sales everywhere around the world. And they're building a new factory in Germany as well to meet the demand or try to meet the demand in Europe. So will Tesla be able to sell almost 800,000 vehicles by 2024 here in the United States? It's possible. I don't think it's likely. And I think with the introduction of all these new battery electric vehicles from the traditional luxury automakers is going to give the customer more choice and the traditional luxury buyer is not leaving the traditional luxury brands for Tesla in masses. And Tesla's demographics for their buyers are quite a bit different than the demographics for traditional luxury automakers. There's a much lower percentage of Tesla owners that have their own home compared to the traditional luxury automakers, which is interesting because you 
I mean, you need to charge your car in your house theoretically, right? Or at least it would be far more convenient. And also the age of a traditional luxury buyer is a little bit older than a Tesla buyer. So there's a lot of different things that are, are different between a Tesla buyer and a traditional luxury buyer. Therefore, it is hard to label them as a luxury automaker, but they have performance. They also have a high sticker price, therefore kind of pushing them into that luxury space due to just those two things. But I can't wait to see what you guys have to stay, say in the comments below. Do you think Tesla will be selling nearly 800,000 vehicles by 2024 based off their continual growth? And do you think the luxury segment as we know it is dead and will continue to shrink? I think that's a huge possibility, but time will tell. And just keep in mind, this is just for the United States. I'm not talking about, you know, massive markets that are growing within China or anything like that. That's outside of the scope of the, the channel. But I'll see you guys down below on what you think there on the surge of Tesla and the stagnation of luxury automakers here stateside besides Genesis. All right, Lexus reveals Marvel Studio, Studios Eternals vehicles. Just felt like sharing this at the end of this video today. Lots of crazy vehicles. Uh, obviously, Lexus is a sponsor of this, this movie. The last movie I think that they were a part of was Men in Black uh which flopped i can't even think of what men in black movie it was chris hemsworth and the valkyrie girl i can't think of her name off the top of my head anyways they were in that movie it flopped the movie before that i think was black panther <clears throat> so they're really heavy into fantastical movies sci-fi as well as comics and here are all the different <laughs> builds and different skins for different uh Eternals, right? So I just thought it was pretty cool. I'm just going to let it uh, scroll down to the bottom. Don't really have much to say because I know nothing about the Eternals, but we got some neat wraps that are custom designed. Anyways, guys, I will see you down below. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, subscribe for more Japanese Korean auto news. Who knows? Maybe I'll cover Tesla a little bit here and there. I know you guys get fired up about them, but whatever. I get fired up too. I'll see you in the next video and peace out.